A new battle in San Francisco, driverless cars against the city's fire chief. A battle between high-tech progress and the growing concern that these self-driving vehicles delay emergency vehicles driven by first responders. Our business and tech reporter Scott Budman has the details. One week away from state regulators voting on whether to let autonomous cars expand their services in San Francisco, the city's fire chief told us she'd rather they hit the brakes. I'm not anti-technology. What I am anti is uh, getting in the way of public safety when we're trying to do our jobs. And that's what's been happening uh, time and time again. Chief Janine Nicholson says the driverless vehicles from companies like Waymo and Cruise are literally getting in her way. Walking emergency medical and fire. Most recently on June 9th, when a cruise vehicle stopped on its own near a shooting in the city's Mission District. But the fire department says they've logged nearly 40 incidents with robo-taxis since January 1st. Because we've seen these vehicles run over our hoses and get them caught in their wheel wells. We've seen them stop in front of two different fire stations now, blocking our um, fire engines from getting out onto calls. Waymo and crews say they continue to work on refining the vehicles and improving their safety records. And while we don't yet know their entire growth plans, They've tested vehicles in San Francisco for years. Tech watchers like Adam Kovakovich of the Chamber of Progress says he believes overall the driverless cars are likely to make things more safe for people, not less. Yeah, there will probably be some incidents, far fewer incidents than there are human uh, driven accidents. But in general, my prediction is that several months from now, we'll look back on this and we'll say, why do we ever worry? much about autonomous vehicles in San Francisco. Chief Nicholson says she can wait. I would say, please hit the pause button. Scott Budman, NBC Bay Area News.